Hello, I'm Edward Tarr, chess enthusiast. This is a solution video for my chess challenge number seven. Here's the situation. You are black. As usual, you are seated at the top of the board. You can achieve a winning situation. How can you do it? Well, you may think that this will do it. Queen to b1, check. But then white interposes his queen at f1, and this will be only an exchange of queens. Or queen to b1, queen to f1. Now, if black plays rook to d1, that is a major blunder because white plays rook to c8 check, black must play rook to d8, and then white plays rook takes d8 checkmate. Queen to b1 is not the winning move. The move that will give black a winning advantage is queen to b2. Then, for example, if the white queen captures the black queen, rook to d1 is checkmate. If after black plays queen to b2, white plays queen to d3, black then can play queen to a1 check, white must play queen to f1, and then black wins the rook. If after queen to b2, white plays rook to c2, black plays queen to b1 check, white will have to play queen to f1, and again, black wins the rook. If after queen to b2, white plays rook to d3, Black can play queen to b1 check. White must play queen to f1. Black plays queen takes queen. The king captures the queen, and black wins the rook. One more scenario. If after black plays queen to d2, white plays queen to c2, then black plays queen capture c2, white plays rook capture c2, and black mates white on d1. So here you have what I think is overwhelming evidence that the winning move for black is queen to b2. And there you have my solution for chess challenge number seven. Thank you, Chen Ming, my fabulous chess coach. If you would like to try four free hours of chess lessons from Chen Ming with no strings attached, please contact me. Thank you for watching.